everybody. Today's recipe is sundae bokkum, spicy stir fried sundae. Sundae is Korean blood sausage. So pork blood with mixture of noodles and seasonings. It tastes a little bit like the French pate, and uh, texture is very soft and kind of seasoning a little salty. And outside the case is chewy. Just uh, you can go to Korean market, Korean grocery store, check out frozen section. And because it is imported from Korea, it's frozen. A lot of Korean bars serve this dish as a side dish for drinking alcohol. So when you drink alcohol, soju, makgeolli, and with your friends, and then you can order this dish. But today, we can make it at home. And this dish is very delicious, and if you are really spicy food lovers, also you love it. But you need to thaw out thoroughly after that, and then just to cook in 10 minutes. I'm boiling my water, and then I'm going to boil this for 10 minutes. This is a frozen one. I throw out like this. This is one pound. Don't open this. This plastic is a heat resistant plastic and also food safe plastic. Now I'm going to add to this boiling water. Like this. And I'm going to turn down the medium heat. You see, this is also sundae. We need sundae, this one, when you blanch this together. Just together, blanch. If you buy this kind of a package and just use this sundae, this is around one pound. And then they also have that kind of a little pieces of some intestine, just both. And then you can blanch this for 10 minutes in hot water. For this recipe, I use kind of a flat noodles. It's made of starch, sweet potato starch. You can see this kind of noodles, the Korean market or even Chinese market, any Asian market. We need only three ounces. Look at this. It's wide, <laughs> wide. We should not use too much because when I stir fry, this absorb all water. So make it kind of too thick. So just measure three ounces, which is around 85 grams, okay? <laughs> and then soak in cold water at least one hour. Okay, so I already pre-soaked here. This one. And cut it in half. And put it here. These are vegetables I'm going to use for this dish. So this is cabbage, four ounce cabbage. And onion, I'm going to use a half onion. So one green chili pepper and perilla leaves. Large green onion, but you guys can use regular, four regular green onions. I cooked this 10 minutes. I will just put it here and then let it cool down. Just cut it. Green onion. Green chili pepper. And this is kenny. Eight large perilla leaves. So cut it in half. So I'm going to use kind of a half and half different. So first, this one cut just like a cabbage. And this one is, I'm going to really thin it, like a thin strings. Detangle. <laughs> and this is like a thread. Onion is, we need around a half cup. Six. Garlic cloves.
So we blanched the sunde and sliced this, all these vegetables and noodles soaked and cut off. All ready. Now, seasoning sauce. We gotta make a seasoning sauce and for this amount. So you need to follow this ingredient amount really, really tightly. Otherwise, blend or too salty, right? Two tablespoons gochujang. Two tablespoons gochugaru. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two. We need a kind of a sweetener. So I'm using rice syrup. Rice syrup, two tablespoons. One, two. And ground black pepper, about a half teaspoon. Like this, paste. We gotta add some water here. Water is half a cup plus a quarter cup. So total, three quarter cup. Half a cup and quarter cup. Okay, next, this is sundae, still warm. So I'm going to slice this into bite-sized pieces. Cutting sundae is a tricky thing. Very sharp knife. Like this. I put some water here. So not too thin. Like this size, large size. Just like when I slice my kimbap and just clean my knife like this. That's a stir fry. <laughs> so, if you guys are vegetarian, what should I do, Mangchi? We cannot eat blood sausage. Then, just use these noodles more. Six ounce or eight ounce noodles. And then, you make a really nice spicy noodles. Right? The stir fried noodles. And around a quarter cup, I'm using extra virgin olive oil. And then garlic first. And stir just until a little bit crispy. Cabbage. Cabbage is the most hard vegetable here, so we cook a little longer. Nice, so already smells good. Onion. Green onion, green chili pepper, or stir fry. So around two minutes, I cook the okay, sauce. And noodle. And See, you remember parilla leaves? Just a half of a parilla leaves. And mix. Stir this. Until these noodles are well cooked. You will see, very soft and shiny. And translucent. Wow, looks spicy. See, by itself it looks delicious. It smells also good. <laughs> I'm too excited, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to serve this in my cast iron pot, kind of this is the lid. I will reheat to make it sizzle. Noodles are, look at that, really delicious, shiny. And then add sunde. And turn down the heat to medium. And just be careful and not to Push this. These guys are very delicate. We don't want to break this. 
but it has to be mingled with this seasoning. Wow, nice. It's done. Look at that. Wow. Korilla leaves. This is the karu, so go well with the trike karu. About like this. And sesame oil. Here you go. Sundebokum, spicy stir fried blood sausage. You guys can make it at home. Let's taste. Non alcoholic beer. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Okay, sunde, and just a little bit like this. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. So kind of juicy and spicy, and also crispy vegetables and noodle, chewy noodles. This is a perfect combination. I love that. So you guys make this and have a party. So Korean sundaebokgum party. <laughs> Why not? One of my Korean American friends, she's also really foodie. She said, oh, I want to make the best sundaebokgum. You have a recipe? I like to see your version. So. I'm so curious about what's her reaction. <laughs> I didn't tell her yet I'm making video. So today, I showed you how to make spicy stir-fried sundae, sundae bokkum. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.